I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on vectors. We will discuss perpendicular vectors in this particular video. Here are three related questions. The very first one is, how do you find many vectors perpendicular to a given vector? Example you can take as vector u equals to 1 minus 2, 1. Now it is very clear that if you have a vector, let us say this is a vector which we have on the plane of the paper. In that case, we have many perpendicular vectors, right? I could draw vectors anywhere like this and all of these are perpendicular to the given vector, right? More than that, if I have a vector which is kind of like this, right? going through the paper, right, so all those vectors are also perpendicular to the given vector. So we definitely have infinite vectors here, right. But the question arises, how do we find them? So we'll look into this procedure of finding many vectors perpendicular to a given vector. I'm going to use the concept of dot product here. for the first one. In the second case, we are given two vectors and the question now is, how do you find a vector, how do you find a vector perpendicular to two vectors? Let's say we have these two vectors and you need to find a vector perpendicular to both of them. So whenever you're given two vectors, the best method is to use cross product. Now, if I have a vector, let us say this is one of the vectors, which we may call as u, the other vector being, let's say, v, right? So, in that case, the cross product of u and v will be a vector which will be pointing upwards and it will be perpendicular to both. You get an idea, right? So, that is how we are going to find the vector perpendicular. Now the third question here is, how do you find two unit vectors, means their magnitude is 1, and is perpendicular to two vectors which are given like this? So sometimes you can also use graphical solutions, right? So, so let us say this is uh, R3, so let us say that is our frame, correct? So when we are saying that vector u is 1, 1, and 0, it means, let's say this is our x, y, and z. In that case, I could always sketch this vector starting from here, one unit in this direction, and then one unit in this direction, correct? So ultimately, we have a vector which is kind of like this. Now, this vector is in x, y plane, right? So this is in x, y plane. Correct. The other vector which we have is uh, 1, 0, 1. So we are moving in this direction, one unit, not moving along y at all, but then we are going upwards, right? So kind of like this. So this vector is, is in this plane, which is your x, z plane. You get an idea. Now to get a vector which is perpendicular to both, we can say that the vector which is in the plane, which is yz, will be perpendicular, right? So this vector here will be perpendicular to both. You get an idea, correct? So we will get a vector which is perpendicular to both in this particular plane. And so we are basically moving along y and z, right? But remember, we need to get it a unit vector and so for this we're going to do a combination of graphical method right so we'll use uh, the coordinate plane so there are three different ways in which we are going to see how do we work on questions related to perpendicular vectors so let's begin with the very first question which is to find unit vector uh, to find many vectors 
perpendicular to a given vector. So now we have a vector u which is equal to 1 minus 2 1 and let us say v is perpendicular to u. In that case, u dot v should be equal to 0. Now, let's take v as a general vector. So, I'll write this as, uh, uh, let's say our vector v is some x, y, z, right? So, we don't know. We'll figure out what this could be, right? So, since they are perpendicular, we can clearly write from here that their dot product is 0. So let me do the math now. Find their dot products. So basically, we have 1 minus 2, 1 dot x, y, z. And that should be equal to 0. So we get what? We get x minus 2y plus z equals to 0. So we get this kind of an equation. Now, when we have this kind of an equation, that means x, y, z are related, right? How do we find these points? So what we will do here is we'll make a table of values to find the points. So let's have uh, different values of x, y, and z. And so we can have infinite number of vectors which can satisfy this condition. So let me, for the time being, uh, write like this. Let me write this as x equals to 2y minus z. Correct? So I could write like this. So we'll evaluate the value of x once we know what y and z is. Perfect? Okay. So let's write down some value for y and some value for z. And then we'll calculate what x is using this particular formula. Correct? Okay. Easy values, let's take very, very simple values. If I take y as 0, for example, right, and then this becomes 0, and if I take z as, let's say, 1, then from this, x is 2y minus z, so 2 times y minus z, so what we get here is minus 1. So that satisfies the given equation. This time, let me take z as 0 and y as 1. So if I take y as 1, I get 1 times 2, x value as 2. Perfect. Well, I can take both as 1, right? So if I take 1 and 1, in that case, 2 minus 1 is 1, and we get this point. So as you can see from here, we have set of vectors which satisfy the given condition and so they are all perpendicular vectors and so our answer is some perpendicular vectors are so we could write these right so we have minus 1 0 1 we have 2 1 0 and we also have 1, 1, 1. You will notice that I avoided 0, 0, 0. So we are avoiding 0 vector in such examples because for a 0 vector, direction is not really certain, right? So there is ambiguity about the direction of a 0 vector. So always avoid that in this particular case. So I hope that makes sense, correct? But this is a way in which you can find infinite solutions to this question. And that shows that there could be infinite vectors which are perpendicular to a given vector. Perfect. Now let's move on and see what should we do when two vectors are given to us. Now we are given two vectors. You could always use dot product to find uh, vectors perpendicular to both. However, cross product is a better solution, right? So cross product is faster. Correct. So we are going to use cross product. So if W is a vector which is u cross v, uh, sorry, u cross v, 
in that case we know that W is perpendicular. to both u and v, correct? That is what we know. So let's find the cross product of these two vectors. So cross product uh, of u and v, that means we want to find 1 minus 1 minus 1 cross 2 minus 2, 3. So there are different ways in which you could do it. One of the easy ways is to write them in particular order. Let's say this is, we can write like this, minus 1, minus 1, 1, minus 1, starting from the center. So in this case, minus 2, 3, 2, and minus 2. And now we can just uh, get i, j, k components using that as positive and this as negative. Correct? So what we get here is u as uh, this value which is minus 3 and that gives you minus or whatever it is 2 right so that is plus and that gives you minus 2 i plus now when you do this you get minus 2 and that is minus 3 j plus here you get minus 2 and this is minus of minus 2 becomes plus 2k, correct? So which is minus 5i and this is minus 2 minus 3 is also minus 5j and uh, that is minus 2 0k, right? So we get plus 0k or you could just write, right? So that is what we get. Is that clear? So how do you find vectors perpendicular to vectors? We just find the direction which gives you a combination where all the vectors will be perpendicular, correct? So I think that helps you to understand how do we get this solution, right? So now the basic direction which we have got here is uh, minus 5, minus 5, 0. So you could also write many vectors. This is one of the vectors, right? So what we get vector W as, we could write this as minus 5, minus 5, 0. Okay. Now there could be many other vectors, but we'll maintain this particular direction, correct? So, so the other vectors could be, if I take minus 1 outside, then I could also write this as 1, 1, and 0. So that could also be a perpendicular vector, for example. Correct? So likewise, we could have many vectors which are perpendicular to both the vectors as shown here. Now let's perform a check. So check will be that the vector dot product should be 0, right? With u, right? That should be 0. And also the dot product with v should be equal to 0. So let's do this check with the other simplified vector, which is 1, 1, 0. So if I have dot product between 1, 1, 0, and one of the vectors, which is u, 1, minus 1, minus 1, what do I get? I get 1 dot product is 1, and that is minus 1, and this is 0, right? And that gives me 0. That means they are perpendicular. Let me also use the other vector, v. So dot product with 2, minus 2, and 3 is 2 minus 2 plus 0, which is also 0. So that is also 0. So it really verifies that the dot product of W is 0 with both U and V, and therefore it is perpendicular to both of them. Now let's move on and take the last example. The last example here is... Uh, how do you find two unit vectors perpendicular to two vectors u and v? So as I was saying, uh, we could actually think about uh, coordinate plane. And as you can see, what we have here is uh, these two vectors. u is 1, 1. That means you can move one unit here and then one unit here. So that becomes vector u. Right. So this is your vector u. Now the vector v is 1, 0, 1, that means 1, 0, and then you go up. So basically this vector 
is vector v. Now, these are in the planes which are x, y plane and x, z plane. So, from origin, correct? So, from here, if I have a vector which is in y, z plane, right? So, so that will be perpendicular to both, correct? Because uh, this plane is perpendicular to both, right? So, these two will be perpendicular, correct? Does it make sense to you? So, this vector, let's call this as w, is going to be perpendicular to both of them. So, any vector here can be written as what? I could write this as, uh, uh, for example, in this case, we could write this as 0, 1, and, and for example, b. So, at present, I have written 0, 1, b, mainly because we are interested in finding a unit vector. Okay? So, we are interested in finding a unit vector. Therefore, we wrote 0, 1, b, right? So, if I write 1, I could write 1 also. Let me write this as 0, 1, 1. But we'll make it unit vector, right? So, we have a vector w, which is 0, 1, 1. It is perpendicular to both u and v. However, its magnitude is not 1, right? So, what we'll do here is we'll find the magnitude of this vector. So, magnitude of this vector is 0 square plus 1 square plus 1 square, which is square root of 2. And therefore, the unit vector w, which is the vector divided by its magnitude, right, will be 1 over square root 2 times 0, 1, 1. Does it make sense? And I could write this as 0 and dividing, uh, we could write them as uh, 1 over square root 2, 1 over square root 2. Or better still, you could also write this as 0 square root 2 over 2. Normally we write, rationalize these and then write, correct? So, so that could be one vector, correct? The other vector, since we need two vectors, the other one could have been pointing in the other direction, correct? So, so we could have one, one option. The other ve vector could have been, let's say, w dash unit vector, and we could give one of them as negative direction. So it'd be 0, negative square root 2 over 2, and square root 2 over 2, correct? So that becomes the, the other vector, which will be, instead of we going like uh, 1 and up, we could go 1 and down. But still it is in this plane, which is yz plane, right? So all vectors which are in yz plane will be perpendicular to the given vectors. So I hope that makes sense. So we get two vectors here. And so our answer here is these two vectors. Is that clear to you? So that is how we could actually solve questions related to perpendicular vectors. I hope you find this exercise useful. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.